they were kind of like embarrassed to admit it, but what's so messed up about our society is that things like that should never be shunned upon. Good morning! I'm gonna make a Costco run today, and last night I asked Benji if he needs anything, and he laughs at me and he goes, you're gonna go to Costco? Weren't you just there like a week ago? And I'm all, I'm literally home every day. If I leave the house, it's either I'm going to the kids' school or the gym. That's it. But he's all, you're gonna go all the way to Costco? I'll probably just buy celery there. Wow, well, this celery is not very good. Look how sad the celery is. So anyways, I kind of got upset at him because I'm all, you're gonna dog me for wanting to go somewhere. But it's better than like going to the mall to go on a shopping spree. That ticked me off last <laughs> night. Anyways, I like getting our fruit there too because they have so much in bulk. And we go through fruit like that in this house. So yeah, I'm doing a mommy trip to Costco. <laughs> Benji and I watched The Office every night and we're almost done with the show we're on the last season I don't want to ruin it for anybody that hasn't seen these episodes so we'll skip this whole part maybe like a minute I don't know right now in the season Jim and Pam are going through a rough stage in their relationship they're doing marriage counseling they were kind of like embarrassed to admit it but what's so messed up about our society is that things like that should never be shunned upon or you should be ashamed of because when you're doing marriage counseling it's like you're fighting for your relationship there's nothing wrong with that just like there's nothing wrong with going to therapy and um there was this one point when what are they talking about you know it's towards the end of the marriage when you don't even fight anymore anyway it's kind of silly that i'm so invested in this fictional character, these fictional characters, and I just want the relationships to work out, just like in La La Land, you know? I just realized it's the end of the month, so it's payday. It might be a little cray. At least it's a school day, so maybe it won't be cray till later today. Okay, this isn't bad at all. There's nobody here. <laughs> Definitely getting these again. The girls love gold, sun gold kiwis. Oh my gosh, look what they sell here. Egg bites. And it even comes in the same packaging that Starbucks has. That was easy peasy. No lines, no fighting. Actually, there's never really fighting in Costco. I mean, maybe sometimes at the samples area. Other than that, we're all good. Just got home. I want you guys to hear my stomach because this is every day after I drink celery juice. that it is a natural still talking I read somewhere that it is a natural laxative good thing Costco was quick cuz grabbed a bunch of snacks for the girls school oh and this is new at least new to Costco they finally have organic cereal the auntie Annie's <laughs> I've been calling it Auntie Annie's my whole life, but it's just called Annie's. Auntie Annie's the pretzel. Cocoa, honey, and vanilla cereal. Velveeta. I just want to get something that's peanut free and dairy free. <gasps> Chicken bake. This is my all time fave from the Costco cafeteria. Got a lot of fruits. The Fuji apples, our favorite apples. They're sweet and crispy. Some pesto sauce. Parsley. Sometimes when Benji and I are watching movies, I like to snack and I love mixed nuts. And then in here I have all the cold stuff. The chicken Caesar salad at the cafeteria. Some the individual wrapped cheese for the kids' school. Dino nugget. Kerry gold butter. Chicken. And ground beef. That's pretty much it. I feel like we order books from our school every three months or something. Hi honey. Are you coming home now? Uh, yeah, that was the plan. So we don't get plan, Oh, okay. Uh, hey, no fighting. Ask the girls if they want... What? Playing knuckle. Hi, Daddy. Hi, do you want knuckle? No, yeah. Yeah. I'll buy you guys knuckle, okay? Coral restaurant.
rushed to Narwhal and she hugged her gratefully. She said, you are the finest judge we could ever have found. You're fair and open-minded, the most just Narwhal around. Playing the try not to laugh okay. challenge. Aim, be careful. <laughs> okay, whose turn is it? Mine. Okay. You're making me laugh. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. No tickling. <laughs> Give her a win! Okay, you're trying to make me laugh. Me yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, Mike! Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God! You're just scaring me. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh, you cannot crack Kira. <laughs> hey, I said no tickling allowed. Tickle, yeah, but no tickling allowed. <laughs> no tickling. <laughs> Have you guys heard of these Color Street nail polish strips? I tried them on for the first time, I think, it was like four or five days ago. I put them on super quick. So it's chipping a little bit, but I like them. They're actual nail polishes, and these were sent from my friend's friend. Shout out to Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. Her Instagram is simply Sarah Sanchez. I, it literally took me five minutes to put them on. Next time, I'm gonna actually follow the instructions. It's so hard to file your nail because you barely have any nails. Yes, they cut it. You cut it? No, you cut it. I cut it. You cut it. I'm cut talking that. about your real nail. What happened to your real nail? I I always you remember? You bite it. Still. But now it's just small, so, so now you have cut it. Your nails, girlfriend. <laughs> you also have short nails. What's yeah. going on? I have cut it. This is give a thumbs up. Oh, do you like my nails? Thumbs up, or you like my nails? I'm basically cutting like the big strips and pieces, and that will cover their entire set of nails. Cause okay. Mia and Kira have tiny, itty bitty nails. Why? Because you've been fighting! <laughs> Not sure what's happening over here. But she's really feeling her nails, therefore, love and life. <laughs> How did she do that? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, what happened to my chicken bake? Can I get my chicken bake back? I just have a few more leaves to color and then we're done. Everyone seems happy and content, especially Judy with her paint by numbers. I'm also content. You're satisfied. That's right. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Yes. <laughs> Where did it go? Where did your voucher go? I am. Oh, dang. I think it's a mono mono one. Oh, yeah. Did you want it? I just want one. <laughs> Yay! Da, da. Oh, okay. I'm not done yet. Okay, now. Dun, da, da, da. On to the next. Wherever, whatever that may be. It's so pretty. This is beautiful. I might even just give this away because I don't know where to put it. <laughs> Look at that. We're matching. All of us. Is that for dad? Oh, I don't know if daddy wants his nails on. So finally unpack from Vancouver. I mean, there's not really much here. It's just the kids' toys and their coloring pages that they never ended up doing. Filmed for 
YouTube secrets. Yeah, recorded for a potential audiobook. I think Sean already finished his recordings. Yeah. What is this that you're making? It's a whiskey sour. It's a very popular bar drink, but the difference is I'm putting egg white that's to froth so it up. Gross. Is that a wait, but that's normal? In a typical whiskey sour? Uh, typical these days, maybe once it wasn't. I've never heard of that. Well, I guess I've never heard of a whiskey sour just anyways. Watch. Just watch. Oh, okay. I'm having another hot toddy. I pretty much had one every single night the last couple days. I'm not taking any medicine. Well, I guess like whiskey is a pretty good medicine, so you know. Looks just like at the bars. <laughs> it's not as good as at the bars. Okay. I'm gonna try to make it better. Can I try it? I kind of want you to try a better one, but here, why don't you try it? Oh, it's good. I don't know what you're talking about. That's good. Yeah, I didn't put as much sugar, too. All right, guys. Well, we're going to call it a night, and we'll see you tomorrow. 